Why People Don't Like Bay Susie's New Drama, Anna, after the second episode of Anna, which stars Bay Susie, aired in China, viewers were not happy. In the Kuang play series, the main character is a woman named Li Yumi who is Ripley's syndrome, lies a lot, and lives with her alter ego, Anna. Even though the first episode of Anna was good, the second episode has been criticized. A report says that Chinese netizens got angry on Weibo after watching the second episode of Anna, which made China look bad. During the scene, Bei Suzi, who played Li Yumi, went to a second-hand designer shop to sell a luxury watch that her boss, Hian Ju, played by Yang Yun Chai, had given her. At the store, the worker tells Yumi that the thing wasn't worth much. The worker also told her that the brand of the expensive watch was involved in a well-known scam about four or five years ago. The shopkeeper in the scene says, wasn't it obvious? The parts are from China, but the screws were put in in Switzerland so that the watches can say made in Switzerland or Swiss made on them. It's only worth a maximum of 100,001, 77 US dollars and 49 cents, but they were caught selling it for 8 to 10 million won, 6,199 dollars to 7,749 US dollars. The worker also told Li Yumi that the watch isn't worth anything and that the person who gave it to Yumi knew about what happened, unfortunately. This scene made Chinese netizens angry because it was portrayed in a bad way in the drama. According to the same news source, the drama became a hot topic on Weibo, China's most popular social media site. Netizens didn't like Kuang Play's newest drama because it made it seem like China is known for making fake goods. In a report, viewers said that Korea always says bad things about China. Some people also said that Korea is spreading lies about their country. Some Chinese netizens were angry, so the outlet also said that the scene was based on a true story. Back in 2006, it was a very big deal. In what was called the Vincent Company incident, the company was in trouble for selling cheap watches that used parts made in China. Based on the same report, the brand advertised it as a high-end luxury brand that only European royal families wear, and, what do you know, it became popular right away among the wealthy. In spite of the controversy, Anna is still being shown on Kuang Play, stay tuned for more.